Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I'm going to be showing you um, what I got from IMAT, so an IMAT haul, and also just speaking about my IMAT's experience. So last Saturday, so a week today, I was actually at IMAT London, and um, I think, where is it held? In Kensington Olympia, in the Olympia Stadium, or whatever it's called, I don't know what it's actually called. Um, so I went there, and it was my first IMAT that I've ever attended, and it was a really different experience. Um, I did have a fantastic time, I really enjoyed it. Um, the only thing that I would say, for those of you who haven't been before, um, and are maybe thinking of going next year is the tickets are fairly pricey so I purchased the tickets before they went up in price and I know you can purchase them at the door if they haven't sold out and I know you can purchase them even up to the day like online but I booked them like a few months in advance and they were at the discounted rate which was £45 which is fairly expensive considering then you have to travel to London buy your train tickets I think my train ticket was about £14 for a travel card and um, yeah, so it works out fairly expensive. However, I highly recommend going, not for the big brands like Mac or um, Bobby Brown and who else was there, Urban Decay. I wouldn't recommend it for the big brands as much, but I would definitely, definitely recommend it for the smaller makeup companies that you maybe either haven't heard of or you don't really get their... Um, you can't really purchase their products, you know, in store, or you can't go to their to go to the high street and they have it there. It's generally the products who have websites online, or they're either from the US. Um, basically, brands that are difficult to get hold of are. It's just a fantastic place to go if you want to do that sort of thing, and if you want to get something a bit different to what you usually get from like Mac or you know Bobby Brown places like that. Um, so I actually purchased quite a few bits um, so I got in and as soon as you walk in you get like a iMats bag um, so just a bag to sort of put in the bits that you buy and stuff even though most of the stores do give you, do give you bags as well and then also with the bag you get like a little brochure and it has like the map of where all the um, you know all the different brands are placed inside so the number of their stall so you can find where it is if you have a particular stall that you want to go to and then I think they just have a brochure with like other bits and bobs in it. I don't actually know if I kept the brochure. I'll have a look in a minute. This is the IMAX bag that you get. And this is the first ever IMAX I've been to. I think I already said that. Let me see if it has the booklet in here. Yes, I did keep the booklet. So this is the IMAX booklet you get with the bag. And... I don't actually know what's in here because I haven't flicked through it. Okay, so it's just like the schedule for... Because I went on Saturday, the 4th of June. So it's just a schedule of who's going to be speaking at what time and which stage they're going to be speaking at. Um, I didn't actually watch any of the speakers because um, we sort of finished there by about midday. Because we, we went when it opened. Three hours is more than enough. Obviously, if there are... Um, you know some places where sorry some speakers that you want to listen to then you might want to wait around for a bit there are places where you can grab some food and drinks and things like that um, so you know there's stuff to keep you busy for the whole day but we just decided because Westfield was around the corner the shopping centre we just literally got on the train and got off at the next stop at the shopping centre and went shopping afterwards um, so yeah I think for me three hours was enough there but for you you know you might want to spend longer you might want to spend less time but that was more than enough for me and then on the next page it just has all the exhibitors so um, you know whoever's there all the brands and what number stall they're at and then that's the map, so the numbers and where they're based. Um, oh my god, I never saw this. 30 to 40% off plus, okay. Ah, I see. So if you have a pro card with IMATS, which I don't, then you get, um, then it just tells you how much discount you get with your pro card. So that's that. I thought it was like vouchers that I didn't even realise I had, but it's not. Um, and then it just tells you a little bit about the people who will be speaking throughout the day. 
So this booklet's fairly helpful. And then, um, yeah, so then we walked in and then I just went crazy. I took a few pictures by the IMATS background, back, oh, by the IMATS backdrop thing. Um, and then we just started walking around. The first place, one of the first places that we went to was Nanshi. And I love Nanshi. It's not a makeup brand that I've ever used before, but when I visited their store, I just fell in love with it. And also before I went, and I think they do some sort of offer every every year, I went onto their Twitter page and they had like a voucher, so if you download this voucher and give it to us at iMats, then we'll give you a free four-in-one sponge. Um, so I actually managed to get two of these, which I am really happy about. So what I will do is when I reach 1,000 subscribers, so please, please, please subscribe if, to my channel if you're not already. Because um, once I w hit 1,000 subscribers, I will be doing a huge makeup giveaway. And the Nance Nancy sponge will be in that giveaway as well. Um, so I will begin by showing you in this big bag of mine... Um, what I got from Nancy. So obviously, firstly, I got the sponges. So I got the four-in-one makeup blending sponge. This was free of charge. I got two, which I think are the same, but they look different in colour and they're in different packaging. But apparently they're the same. So one's in a packet, one's in a box. And let me see if I can try and get this out. I haven't actually touched any of my eye matte stuff yet, apart from what I'm wearing on my lips, because I wanted to save it to show you guys in this video. Um, but I got this sponge. It's really cute. Hopefully it's like the beauty blender. I don't know. Oh, it smells funny. Um, but it looks like it is. It looks really good. So I'm excited to try that out. Also, any of the stuff that I show you in today's video, if you guys want me to do a review on any of the products, then please let me know because I love product reviews. Um, I love filming them for you guys. So just let me know. And I will be really, really happy to do that. And one of my favourite, favourite things that I brought from Nancy in their Nancy bag is a Nancy makeup bag. I'm really excited about this because I'm running out of space to put all my makeup. And I am up and down a lot from where I work and where I live, etc. Um, so I always need to transport my makeup. So this is absolutely fantastic. It is humongous. Well, for me anyway, I don't, I'm not quite at the point where I need the massive trolley thing yet, but um, I just love this because what well, it says Nancy at the front, it's just a plastic bag. The handles seem really strong. So I did um, look through, you know, all the different bags that they did, and this was the biggest one and the best one that they have. I think this is their new collection. It was £25 at the discounted price at IMAT. I think usually it's over £30, maybe more. Um, but it has loads of compartments, so at the top is the main zipper, and inside it opens pretty wide. It doesn't look very big at the moment because it hasn't got anything in it, but it opens really, really wide. So I can imagine fitting a lot of that in. You can fit all your palettes in and everything. And then on both sides it has three pockets. One, two, three, and they are pretty spacious as well. They really stretch out. Obviously, because I've had it in that Nancy bag, it's sort of squashed, but they really stretch out, so you can fit a lot in that, which I really like. So three of them on this side, and three of them on this side. And then you've got the long strap as well, which you can make longer or shorter, which I think is brilliant as well, because if it gets really heavy, it's easier to put on your shoulders rather than to carry in your hand. And also on the um, other side, it has this huge pocket, so there's one on both sides again, one on that side, and one on this side. It has a um, little flap at the top, and it has a zip here, which I think is fantastic. You So you can get into the bag both either through the zip or the flap at the top. So honestly, I absolutely love this. Um, I need to go through all my makeup and organise it, but that is one of 
one of my favourite products that I got. And just from a random stall, there, there was this one stall where they just sold like a mixture of different brands there. Um, I purchased the Ben Nye Luxury Powder, the Banana Powder, and this is the um, hyped up powder that Kim Kardashian wears and honestly I used it for the first time today and it is amazing like my makeup I don't know if it does still look flawless but when I you know after I finished doing my makeup earlier it just makes your face look amazing and flawless I absolutely love this powder this is the 85 uh, grams one you can get a smaller one which is 42 grams I think uh, but I thought I might as well get the bigger one because there wasn't that much of a difference in the price. Um, I purchased this for £12, I believe. Yeah, £12. This was the cheapest they were selling it at IMATS. They did have it at a few other stores. Like I said, I was about to purchase this before I went to Nancy. Um, and I'm glad I didn't because they were selling it for £16 there. So I saved £4 um, just by making sure that I looked around at the other stores before I decided to purchase it. So I'd recommend that. If it's like a random store where they sell a mixture of different things, what I would do is walk around everywhere and see where you can find the cheapest. For example, that Nancy bag, they're the exact same design but it wasn't Nancy and um, they were selling it for a bit more at a different stall and at Nancy's one it was slightly cheaper so just have shop around and make sure you get the best price for all the makeup that you want to purchase the next item well I'm not doing it in the order that I purchased them but the next item that I have to show you guys is the LA Splash Lip Couture um, waterproof liquid lipstick and this is in the shade cryptic it's actually what I'm wearing on my lips today I absolutely love this it's not a normal colour that I would usually wear um, and that's why I liked it I just I don't know there's something about this colour which I love and obviously it's waterproof so it doesn't come off easily um, that's what the packaging is like she's got a gold lid and lip couture LA Splash. Uh, I sort of wish I brought some more of these in different colours now, um, but I will patch, I'll probably patch them online. I've seen that they sell them on Beauty Bay, so I'll probably go onto Beauty Bay at some point and patch them on there. So I've got the LA Splash liquid lipstick, and then I got, I've never heard of this product before, but their um, liners are amazing so they are called provoc you may have heard them heard of them you may have not and it's basically apparently eyeliner but you can use it for lip liner as well but the colors that i got you probably wouldn't use on your lips um i got them mainly to use on my eyes um so i got this so it's basically called semi-permanent gel eyeliner and it's waterproof and also they say that it's smudge proof as well, that's why they call it semi-permanent. first one I got is in the shade Champagne. And I got this to sort of highlight, you know, under the brow or in the inner corners of my eye. Um, I'll show you the shade, it is beautiful and they're so creamy and so pigmented. So that's the first one in Champagne. And the second one I got is in the shade Desired and it's like a chocolate brown. And I actually got this to use for like a cut crease look because I haven't got a brown high, you know, a good quality pencil that I can use for the cut crease look. This is the chocolate one. I'll show you it on my hand. And I th honestly think this will be fantastic for cut crease. Obviously once you blend it out and everything. So this brand's called Provoc. And I really like their eyeliners. I will be purchasing some more. I don't know where from. I'm going to have to research. They do have a website. Um, so I might just purchase it from their website. So that's another thing that I purchased. And then I went to Crown Brush. And I just purchased a few brushes from there. Oh, and um, the eyeliners that I got were... £7 each, they're usually £10 each, so £3 discount. And the liquid lipstick that I got from LA Splash was £10. I think it's usually more than that. So that was slightly discounted as well. So from Crown Brushes, I got the Brow Duo brush. So it has the angled brush on one side where you can fill in your brows and the spoolie brush on the other end. 
I haven't used any of these products yet so I can't tell you how good they are but like I said if you want me to review any of them then please let me know in the comments below um, then I got this one and it's a mini smudger I think this will be fantastic to use underneath on the lower lash line then I got the, oh I don't know what this one is called, it doesn't have any writing on it which is a bit strange. But I actually got this to use in my crease because it's a slightly pointed brush. I think it will be perfect to sort of, you know, use in the crease. And then finally I got the Bent Liner Brush which I've been wanting for ages. It's a really, really small one but it looks great so I will be doing like maybe I'll do like a video of demo of how I use this brush because I really can't wait to use it because I've wanted it for ages so that's what I got from crown brushes and they were all between three to four pounds each because they're the small eye brushes um, I haven't ever tried their face brushes but they were slightly more pricey um, and then oh my god my favorite products ever from what I got from iMat, um, from Eye Candy Cosmetics. Honestly, they are amazing. I didn't realise how amazing this brand are. Um, so basically, they do this eye glitter and they have loads and loads and loads of different shades. I only picked three. I think the three pack was for £21. These are priced at £21 and what you get with it is the little small brush where you can apply the glitter with and the I don't know what they call this the liquid sugar base so what you do is you dip your brush in here then dip it in the glitter tap off the excess and apply it and oh my god it just looks amazing she did a demo on this other girl so you can use it as liner or you can use it on all of your um, eyelid so I got two three colors sorry so it's three for 21 pounds I think if you got six it was 28 pounds or 30 pounds and then 10 was I can't remember but you can buy like you know sets and this was at a discounted price I think on their website it's over 30 pounds just for three colors so um, it was definitely worth it I think I saved like over nine pounds um, so I've got the first one which is in the shade Tatty and it's like a coppery gold type. I don't know if you can see it. And then the next shade that I've got is called Sour Apple. And that's like a greeny shade with a little bit of gold in it as well. And then the final shade that I've got is called Sugar Plum and it's like a deep purpley colour. Like a plum maybe slightly darker and they're the three colours that I got I am so excited to use these products um, I will definitely be filming a video I think I'll film the video next week on um, how to sort of apply I might even just do a makeup tutorial using one of these glitters which I'm really really excited about and finally I got um, the makeup from NYX um, so you can get NYX makeup more than you used to be able to in England, um, which I'm really happy about. Altogether I spent £25.65 in NYX, which is pretty good I think. So I got, um, so yeah, it's not as available as it is in like the US or, you know, other places. But you still can purchase it from some places in the UK. But I think for the people that were from areas where you can't purchase it, although you can purchase it online, I think that's why the NYX counter was so busy, because um, it's less available in the UK. So the first thing I got was the NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder, and in, this is in the shade Dark Brown. Obviously I haven't started using any of these yet, so, you know, I don't know what they're actually like, but they looked pretty good. Then I got the Orange Pigment Dark Circle Concealer, which is in this little box, and I'll just open that. Oh god, my nail. So it just comes in a little pot, and I will just probably use this under my eyes. Um... This is meant to be really good actually, so I'm very, very excited to use this. I'm just trying to get it out. So you get it in a little, little pot like this, and I got it in the medium shade, so it comes in light, medium, or dark, I think. So that's what it's like. 
Then I got, well they say they give you a freebie and I thought it would be like a NYX freebie but it's a Lancome one. I don't know, maybe they're the same company, I don't know. But this is the Smoothing and Glow Boosting Liquid Care. I don't know, they gave me two by accident I think instead of one. But I ended up with two so I'm not complaining about that. I don't know what it is but I'll try it out at some point. And then I purchased two soft matte lip creams. I already have a few of these and... As you probably guys know, I do absolutely love them because I do wear them in a lot of my videos. And I got these in the shade Cans and Amsterdam. So one's like a pinky nude slash brown. It's not really brown, pinky brownie nude. And then one is the red, which is the Amsterdam one. Okay, so I'll swatch this on my hand for you. So this is like a very vibrant, bright red. That's the Amsterdam one. And then the Cans one. They were selling these lip creams for $4.95. Most of the stuff I got was $4.95 apart from the Dark Sea Circle Concealer which was $5.85. This is the Cans one. <gasps> I love this shade. It's like a really dark pink nude. So that's the lip creams that I got. And then I got one lip liner, which is like a nude lip liner. Um, and it's a mechanical one. So it's the one which screws up and down. And what is it actually called? The retractable lip liner in the shade Nude. And it's a really nice light one, which I actually was looking for a light nude. So I'm glad I got this one. The one right at the bottom there. And that is everything that I purchased from IMAT. So I didn't buy a hell of a lot, but I think I've really got some fantastic bits that I'm really looking forward to using. So I got the bits that I actually need and also some of the things that I wanted um, to try out and, you know sort of help me create new makeup looks for my videos and things like that so I certainly had a fantastic time they had a really really good day I was absolutely shattered by the end of it honestly I can't tell you how my body felt it just felt horrible my arms were killing me I think it's just because I was out for the whole day shopping I went to the shopping centre afterwards and brought some other bits and stuff from there so my arms were literally broken by the end of the day but I would definitely recommend it and I would particularly recommend it for the smaller brands, like I said. They were just fantastic. They explained everything brilliantly. Their prices were heavily discounted. And I just loved it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please give it a big, big thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe as well. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.